Hello everyone and welcome, it's Stephen Clark and friends. Wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hope you're all fit and well. Back again with a light-hearted look at the news from all over Thailand and all over Southeast Asia. So let's jump in and see what's happening this time. Ah, let's go down to Phuket where a wanker was caught spanking the monkey. Naughty boy, naughty boy, naughty boy. Uh, swimming Bambi, a deer goes swimming out to sea without a life jacket. Konkan Airport Terminal Renewal. Manila Airport Renewal. And then we're heading over to Myanmar for visa and their new rules. This is interesting. Catching 16 giant catfish worth half a million baht in one sitting. He caught them in one day. But first up, and then our resident gun expert, Banana King, explains to you about gun safety and what can happen if you're not pointing it the right way. G'day sports fans. Well, sad news. Um, another gun, an accident, accidental discharge of a gun. Again, this time killing a woman in a car. There was a man uh, driving a Chinese couple at home well, after an outing. They were all a bit merry, I think. And um, he stopped on the side of the road to, to um, go and relieve himself. While he's having a piss, he heard a gunshot and returned to find his girlfriend had been shot through the chest and was bleeding heavily. A, a drunken Chinese man had found the gun in, that he keeps in his uh, second row of the seats in the back of the car and was playing with the gun apparently when it accidentally went off, killing his girlfriend. When Tam Kam police arrived at the hospital, they found the Chinese man who shot the gun, Mr. Seng, he was in tears outside the emergency room. An interpreter was called from the Chinese embassy. Apparently Singh was very drunk and Bang Pong Pang police are continuing their investigation into the incident. They call it an incident. I think that might be an accident. Thailand has a strong gun culture and um, if, you, if you think the um, rate of gun deaths, in, gun related deaths in America are high, well then Thailand uh, beats them on that count and has, has one of the highest if not the highest rate of uh, gun related deaths and fatalities and accidents in Asia. Johnny Siam reporting. A woman owner of a building under reconstruction and renovations in Phuket town lost control. She had called the police as a man was caught stealing electrical cables. The man was caught with a cable and confessed to police that he'd also stolen six air conditioners. But things went for the bad for the man when he said he'd also stolen three pairs of the woman's underwear and had fantasies whilst masturbating. So she gave him a swift kick in the uh, private parts and uh, left him to police. Johnny out. And now for something completely different. This is Mark reporting for Talk Back Thailand. A story of Bambi. Good old Bambi, a vulnerable deer was rescued six kilometers off the shore of southern Thailand. The species of deer classified as vulnerable since 2008 has been rescued after being seen struggling six kilometers off the Nokon Sai Thamat shore. Looking for its mother, I expect. Fishermen spotted the female sambar deer frantically swimming in Kanon Bay, alerted the Siam Foundation. The nation reports that rescuers went out on jet skis in order to save the deer, oh good old Bambi, which ran off into the woods once it had safely reached land. Rescuer Sitapong says the authorities must do more to protect vulnerable species like Bambi, saying more attention needs to be paid to the impact of road construction projects. He adds the last few months have seen several wild deer struggling in the bay while others have died falling from the mountain cliffs or struck by vehicles. The newly constructed Pla Chamaron Road which links the districts of Sikchon and Kamon. Sitapong claims the road was built without preliminary environmental impact. Oh there's been a few brain bags there. Sitapong claims the road was built without a preliminary environmental impact study, there's a few brain bags being thrown around there, and runs past the forest preserve of Hat Kanom National Park, the D is nature home. This is Mark, reporting for a good old Bambi for Talk Back Thailand. Hi there, Mark reporting for Talk Back Thailand. 
Problems with the new terminal at Conken. The foundation of the old building was preventing the new work to be installed as planned, so architects had to alter the plan before work could continue. The construction will be resumed and finished within 900 days. The project is now but 29% complete. Construction of the terminal is part of the government's policy to promote tourism in 55 cities in the northeast. Konken is a gateway to Isan, an economic hub that enjoys continuous progress to promote tourism in the region and economic expansion. They are aiming to upgrade all airports as smart airports adhering to international civil aviation organization standards. The airport expansion is costing 2 billion baht for another passenger terminal and car park and improved roads. This is Mark Leverage reporting for Talkback Thailand. Johnny Siam reporting. New Manila Airport to break ground in December. Public and private investment up to 100 million peso. The Department of Transportation and San Miguel Corporation signed the documents earlier this week. 2,400 hectares of land for the project, which will give the airport four runways. With the additional airport tollways, Balkan Airport, the tollways from Cavite Coastal, Skyway 3, the Lex segment 9 and 10, and also Balatawat, My Canyon, North and South, and Bocors, North and South, to ease the congestion. Onwards and upwards in the Philippines. Johnny out. Johnny's I am reporting. Myanmar, starting this week, tourists from six countries to be granted visa-free and visa on arrival. For visa on arrival, Australia, Germany, Italy, Russia, Spain and Switzerland. Visa on arrival will be available for the fee of 50 US dollars. Visa free was granted to tourists from Japan, South Korea, Hong Kong and Macau. Myanmar tourist marketing has seen an increase in the amount of tourists with the use of visa free and visa on arrival. So maybe Myanmar is your next destination. Johnny up. Johnny Siam reporting. Half a million baht, not too bad of a day's pay when you're out fishing. Mr. Bun Siton said he cast his net into the river and felt something was very heavy when he went to retrieve the net. Other fishermen helped Mr. Boon and were shocked to find 11 giant catfish in the net. So again, Mr. Boone cast his net and he was rewarded with five more giant catfish. The total weight of the 16 fish was 2,520 kilos. Mr. Boone shared the money with those that had helped him. That's a very generous thing. Good luck to him. Johnny out. Take a quick moment to subscribe, like and share. And remember to click the bell icon to get notified so you don't miss out on anything exciting happening on Thailand Unplugged. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you again shortly.